Now we'll come to the next point of percentage. Just we'll try to look the different area or major area of application. One of the major area you can say whatever we are now going through it is arithmetic. Lot of chapters are there in arithmetic that will be directly depend on uh, depends on the percentage. If you are good in percentage, you will able to perform good in that chapter. If you are not good in percentage, you will struggle to that chapter. Next is your performance measurement, how to measure the performance of any of the batch or any of the classes or maybe any of the company. These all will be based on your percentage. Business terminology, I have already shown all terminology will be either percentage or ratio. Productivity that will be in ratio. Percentage of sales that will be in percentage. What is your capital? Uh, uh, what is your present, present asset compared to total asset ratio? Means either ratio or percentage. Almost all business terminologies, either you will go through the P and L document or you will go to the annual statement, all you will feel only percentage and ratio. It is explained in terms of percentage and ratio. Due to these two are very powerful tool for quant also and DI especially, it is a lot of importance is there. Without that, you will not able to solve a single case slate, especially type one, type two. You will not able to solve if you are, you are not comfortable in concept deep concept of percentage and ratio and how based on the percentage and ratio how to compare the data or group of data or bunch of data in terms of either table tabular format or in terms of any graphical format any of the format you should be comfortable basically it is a comparison tool percentage and ratio all are a comparison tool if change are happening how to compare the change either absolute way means individual way any one particular individual we will able to measure the change or between two variables or three variables or group of variables we will able to compare. Next is your income expenditure we have seen already. Percentage in ratio and proportionality this is another important area we have to learn if it is given in ratio and proportion way how percentage will be applicable and another uh, another good chapter is there that you can say it is very famous chapter that is profit and loss everybody this is one of the major uh, one of the major chapter in your arithmetic 